XClick is part of the restoration group of plugins. It was created to reduce strong, transient, and impulsive noises while preserving pristine audio quality. It should be used before X-Crackle when doing vinyl restoration as the large transients should be reduced before taking care of the more delicate scratch noises. The most common candidates for XClick are the clicks created by digital errors and physical damage to the groove of an LP. XClick works on a very high resolution and when set properly it is very effective with virtually no audible artifacts. There are two main parameters to adjust when using XClick. Threshold sets the level for the targeted clicks. Higher values remove more clicks and a value of zero removes no clicks. The suggested start setting for basic vinyl recording restoration is between 30 and 50. Shape denotes the length or visual width of the targeted clicks. Start with 70 as a basic value for working with vinyl recording restoration as these pops and clicks are usually wider than digital error clicks. For these, set the value lower. Waves suggests that you monitor with headphones to truly hear the effects of the processing. We will come back to these during our example. In the meantime, let's check out the rest of the controls. After the threshold and shape controls, we will look at the output monitor. Here we can switch between the audio setting, which is the audio being processed by XClick, and difference, which allows the monitoring of clicks presently removed by the XClick settings. I like to use the difference setting to make sure that I haven't removed any desired audio peaks in the process. The XClick scope displays a visual representation of the click removal for the last 10 seconds of processed audio. Detected clicks are shown in red with varying intensity due to the amount of the damage present. The audio that is unaffected is shown in gray. Remember that higher threshold values will cause more red clicks to be present in the scope display. Next is the attenuation meter. It displays the amount of click removal and also equals the level when the monitor button has different selected. The output meters show the output level for the selected output monitor mode and like all other Waves plug-in output meters are peak meters with infinite hold and peak hold value fields below them. You can click anywhere on the meter display to reset the peak hold value. One note of importance regarding XClick. To correctly process clicks, XClick must look ahead of playback to react and detect clicks. It is only possible by delaying the signal 2,624 samples, or roughly 60 milliseconds. This can be problematic when processing a track that must play in sync with others. Final restoration and forensic work on final masters aren't usually affected by this as they are normally processed in mono or stereo. A single track and a multi-track mix can be processed by XClick, but the selected track must be nudged back or the other unaffected tracks must be delayed the same 2,624 samples to remain in sync. There are two modes of click removal, automatic and manual. Automatic click removal is the fastest and easiest method of removing clicks from a piece of audio. Wave suggests that you may even want to use X-Crackle inserted after X-Click for a one-step process of click and pop removal. Be careful with the automatic process as it can remove some of the desired transient sounds of audio with much drums or percussion. If you can't achieve a setting that is an acceptable balance of click removal and audio fidelity for the whole song, then manual click removal is a better solution. You can manually remove clicks in the following fashion. First, insert X-Click on the track in question. Next, set the threshold near 0 and the shape near 70. This is aggressive click detection. Next, select Difference in the monitor section. Assign the track to the input of an extra adjacent track. And, from beginning to end, record the Difference Mode audio to use as a click log or timeline. Now, using the click log track as a guide, process the original track's audio with XClick a click or section at a time. This should take care of your problematic audio, and remember you can always undo the processing and alter your settings before further processing. Let's apply XClick to an audio example of a damaged vinyl LP. We will be using the automatic method, but make sure that if you don't achieve desirable results, to try the manual method of click removal explained previously.
XClick from Waves Restoration Package is a welcome addition to any DAW. Whether you are fixing digital clicks in a final mix, cleaning up your favorite old records, or performing forensic audio cleanup for use as evidence in court. Make sure to check out the XNoise movie tutorial for related info. Also, for a closer review of this plugin, check out our edits and processing with headphones to possibly catch things you might have missed in your monitor speakers.